Hello everyone, my name is Mad Radio DXA UK, and this video is about uh, me talking about this Quangsheng uh, UVK5 and if it's still get, uh, worth getting one in 2025. Now, before I carry on this video, I would like to give a mention um, to uh, a person who commented on my last video, uh, which was about the upcoming Quangsheng TK11. And uh, this person complained about me saying, You know a lot, you know, you know, you know, when I speak. Um, you know on my videos well first thing is I know I say you know a lot okay so that second thing is guess how many videos this person has in their account you guessed right zero videos so they probably have a flaw in their speech you know that they don't want to share to the uh, rest of the world right and anybody else that doesn't like me saying you know well too bad because I'm going to say that in this video anyway right okay then so let's carry on so First, uh, you know, let's go for the uh, the uh, reasons why it's still worth getting this Quangsheng UVK5 um, in 2025. First one is that it's very cheap. Um, you can get these um, on average about uh, 25 pounds, British pounds, US dollars, uh, euros. You know, so this uh, radio or transceiver, you know, whatever you, you know, whatever you want to call it, is still going for a very nice cheap price. Second thing is that it's very well built, right, for the for the price, even though it's around, you know, £25 and whatever, you know, it is very, very solid indeed, pleasantly surprised, you know, um, you know, how well made it is, okay, um, even though it's not something from like an ICOM or a Yeh, so it goes to show that made in pro um, China products are really well made uh, these days. Another reason is that the reception is actually good. It's very sensitive. Um, listening to the airband, which is what I use this for, right, is really good indeed. Though it can overload uh, sometimes, and uh, every now and again, I can have a bit of uh, FM breakthrough, like I can hear music on the airband. Okay, so just to let you know, you know, in case um, you're the type of person that gets, you know, um, you know, uh, very easily. Um, you know, desensitized to listening to uh, overloaded signals on a certain band. Another reason to get this UVK5, you know, in 2025 is that it's very easy to uh, soft mod, okay, to, you know, put in, uh, install um, a third party uh, firmware away from, let's say, one that uh, Quangshun offers. The one I've got in this, um, in my UVK5, is the Exuma mod. And the reason I've got it is because it has the Spectrum Analyzer, right? Um, which you can see on screen, but also as well is that it can scan um, a certain frequency range really good for the air band. Yeah, when you've got different, um, you know, air traffic or transmissions going around the air band and it'll stop to the, the one that's, you know, um, uh, to a frequency that is uh, active, that is picking up, um, you know, a transmission from an airplane or from the air traffic uh, control center. So this for 25 pounds, right? For, uh, you know, an air traffic scanner, a portable air traffic scanner, it's a no-brainer, okay? And with the Exuma mod that I got, you know, that I've got, it makes it even more worthwhile, okay? Uh, and another reason to get this UVK5 is that the battery life seems very decent. I haven't counted exactly how long the battery lasts because it depends how you use it. If you use it only for receiving or you use it for transmitting, I'm assuming that if you transmit with this UVK5, it'll consume more battery power um, than say if you're only listening uh, only with it and the thing is even though uh, I'm uh, you know I am an amateur radio um, licensed operator right I don't um, you know I've never used this UVK5 for transmitting because the only frequency ranges you can transmit with this uh, UVK5 um, as standard right is um, from the two meter band uh, sorry, on the 2 meter band and the 70 centimeter band. Okay, but the thing is, I don't transmit uh, on those bands. Uh, the bands that I usually transmit with my, um, you know, with my license is, uh, or the ones that I'm only interested in, you know, in rather, is on the HF band, the shortwave bands, and the most would be the 6 meter band, which is around the 50 megahertz uh, range. Okay, so um, that. But yeah, I can only speak up this uh, UVK5 as somebody who listens, right, as a receiver, but not somebody that uh, transmits, okay? So, there. And um, what are the reasons, okay, not to get this UVK5 in 2025? Well, the first one is that the Quangsheng TK11 is due to come out at some point um, this year, for what I'm seeing, um, and um, it's, 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 you know, it's offering more than what this UVK5 can do right for the time being yeah um one thing i know is that for example um the uh, tk11 can transmit on the 10 and the 6 meter bands in i think it's in fm mode okay this uh, uvk5 can only do 
two meters and 70 centimeters but as well as doing two meters and 70 centimeters on the tk11 right the tk11 can do better right um in you know a stock transmitting as well on the 10 meter and the six meter band so that's something to um think about even though the tk11 is likely to sell even more uh, at a higher price than compared to um this uh, uv k5 okay uh, another reason as well um, i can think of not to get this uv k5 is that maybe you want to consider the rattel rt860 okay um that right um as well as the what the tk11 is going to offer okay when you get this uv k5 um you uh, are standard it doesn't go up to the HF bands, okay? It cannot do the shortwave bands. Although with the Exuma mod, it can go as low as 18 megahertz. But one thing to um, uh, to let you know is that in my tests, um, you know, we're uh, doing um, testing the receive capability with this uh, UVK5 on the HF bands with the Exuma mod is that it's very weak, okay? And I suppose it's because this UVK5 as standard wasn't supposed to be, you know, wasn't supposed to receive. Um, on the HF bands, okay. The only way I could get it to get um, a signal matching, like for example, my XH Data D808 on um, around the 25 megahertz range, was to use my MLA30 antenna on this, okay, to receive uh, a certain signal, and then it could receive the same signal as my XH Data D808 with its own whip antenna so that's something to um you know to think about and what it looks to me from what i've seen is that the rat cell rt860 from the videos i've seen i don't own one yet anyway i don't know if i'm going to get one it seems the performance of that on the hf bands is actually quite good okay so that's one thing to consider about i know that with the uvk5 you can um, make it receive on all the shortwave bands by installing the SI4732 chip or the board, whatever you want to call it, but it requires very precise soldering. Okay, but if you do get the TK11, if you do get the R Rattel RT860, good news, you don't need to do any soldering whatsoever. It comes supplied already with the capability to receive on the HF bands. So that's something to think about if you want a handheld that can receive, you know, the, uh, the shortwave bands okay um and that and also as well too is that well i've already mentioned it um that is that you know this uvk5 um uh, it can overload um you know quite easily depends on which bands you are like i said on the air band i sometimes get the fm breakthrough i can sometimes hear music from a music station for example but just that's something just to let you be aware of you know if you get this right but again like i said this is a very cheap handle what do you expect for 25 pounds or whatever it is right so i would say you just get this as a toy something to play around with and something you know just to have fun that's all it's not i wouldn't call a serious radio scanner uh, radio scanner or a uh, receiver so there we are those are the reasons that i've given you know um to to get this uvk5 and you know in 2025 and not to get the uvk5 but in any case this i would say that this uh, radio uh, overall i would say it's still worth getting in 2025 because you know all the pluses all the positives and you know outweigh the negatives even though you're going to get um for example uh, the Quangshun TK11 even though you've got the R Rattel RT860 out now already at the time of doing this video still worth getting this you know and the other thing too another positive I didn't mention as well is that this uh, you know this receiver or this handheld transceiver is smaller than what uh, a Rattel is offering and supposedly what the TK11 is offering too you know the size of those uh, radios or transceivers you know this one can fit very easily into a pocket so that's another reason to get this uh, UVK5 and yeah and you know this you know for the price like i said for the price you cannot get anything any better as a handheld uh, transceiver for modifying you know and anything else that you can uh, do with it uh, you know for tinkering about and so on so there we are so there we go thank you very much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one